So guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I have the Tech Rebellion Glow Sketch LED Drawing Pad. Now for you guys out there, obviously you don't have to draw on it. You can write, you can do whatever you want, and you have the option to basically delete it at a moment's notice by hitting this trash button right here, which I wanna show you guys in real time. Now the price tag was only $7.99. I just happened to be shopping at Burlington Coat Factory when I found this. My wife was looking for some work clothes and I said, why not? It seems like an interesting device, especially for more so children. That's what it seems to be catered to. But personally, I'm gonna use it to write all my bills down or a food list or something like that. So anyway, let's get right into this review, unbox it together and see if this is actually worth the asking price and how well it performs. So this is everything that comes inside the box once you take it out. For the people wondering why there's smudges on the screen, no, I did not run my finger on it. I just took it out of the case. I don't know if it was pre-packaged and used. Someone could have took it back. It is Burlington Co. Factory after all. So I just left it in its original form. Now this pen right here normally fits up here, but I popped it out for the video purpose so it's easier for me to get to it. You do have this little loop right here where you can probably loop the pen if you look up top, it has this right here. There is no physical loop that I found inside the box, so whether it came with it or not, I'm not too sure. You might have to get your own. That's not really a big deal to me. If you flip this over, which we'll get to this trash button in a moment, I'm going to explain it to you in a second, but if you flip this over, the battery, on the other hand, is CR2025. You can normally find these at Family Dollars, Dollar Generals, Dollar Trees, things like that, dollar stores. So make sure that you have a battery for it. I'm not too sure how long this will last because these batteries can last for years and it also depends on how often you actually use this particular drawing tablet. Now, there is a lock button on the back. We're gonna show you how that works right now, but first let me draw some pictures and show you how the uh, trash can button works. So if you take the pen, there are no colors that you, you can't change the colors in this. So if you draw in a particular location, as you can see, this is just how it's going to be. If you draw up down here, you'll see the green and whatnot. If you draw up top, you'll see more so the green and the blue. It doesn't seem like I have the ability, even if I draw lighter or, or darker, it doesn't seem like I can actually affect the colors. It is what it is. The board is pre-made. These are the predestined colors and you just have to accept it for what it is. There are no instructions inside the box either, so I'm assuming that it has to stay that way. And the stylus doesn't have any physical buttons, so, you know, keep that in mind. Now, if you hit the trash button right here, what'll happen is it'll make everything disappear. Now, I want to show you something interesting. I had to test this out and try it for myself. If you hold the, this is the lock button right here. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. So it's an unlock and a lock. Now, the unlock allows you to hit the trash button and make whatever you write disappear, while the lock button actually locks it in place. Now, originally, I thought if you hit lock, you can't add anything else to the pad, but you can. Let me show you an example. I'm gonna draw some circles and some shapes, whatever. You know, it doesn't really matter what I draw on this, just to give you an idea of how it is, right? If you hit the lock button, I'm sorry, the home button now, when it's on the lock position in the back, nothing will happen. But you still can draw on this as much as you want to, and it'll leave it alone. So that's why I say when I plan on putting my bills on this or writing down, you know, uh, give you an example. I plan on writing down like a food list and then wiping off the things that just putting a line through it every single time I go pick a particular item. That'll make life a lot easier for me. My wife is one of those people where she has a book letting you know what she can and can't eat because she's on this health kick. But sometimes she loses that paper and we have to go through the process of doing it all over again. This will make life a lot easier, especially if I just write it down. I'm like, here you go. You're going to the market, get whatever you need, get whatever it is that you need to get. That makes life a lot easier. Now and again, you unlock it, hit the button, boom, everything disappears. If you have like some type of microfiber cloth, go ahead and wipe this down because again, a lot of people, especially in Ross and Burlington's and places like that, they tend to un I'm not going to say unlock these things or tear open stuff and look at the product. And a lot of times when you get home as a consumer, too many people already had their fingers all over the product that you wanted to buy. So you do want to just take care of it for longevity reasons. I know that in my last video or last two videos, uh, someone happened to say something around the lines of they couldn't watch the video because it had nothing but smudges on the screen and things like that. I do want to say that if you run your finger across this, your fingernail, not your finger, but your fingernail, you're still able to draw on this without a problem. But obviously the pen is more ideal as overall. And, you know, it's a pretty cool product. So there's no reason for me to really go into the last part of the video and say in conclusion. No, this is the conclusion right here. 
I think this is a really cool pad. If you are a child and, or if you're an adult that doesn't feel like dealing with papers and pens and your kid just wants to doodle, something like this can definitely hold them over where they can just write silly stuff, draw silly messages, and then press the button and do it over again. You'd be surprised how much fun you can have with this. But if you're an adult, just remember, lock. I would suggest keeping the lock button on in the back because if you accidentally draw something that's a masterpiece or write something down a note, and then you press this and it's not locked, it's going to disappear and there's no possible way for you to get it back. So please do be aware of that. It's a pretty cool product for eight bucks, even at the regular price tag of, uh, what is it? It says, what does it say, like comparable to $12? Yeah, comparable $12 value. Either way, I, if you get this for 12 bucks, I think it's pretty cool. If you get this for $7.99, it's pretty cool. If you get it for free, it's pretty cool. I think this is a really interesting product. I never saw something like this before. I do have an art pad myself that I draw on, but that's a lot more uh, technical than something like this. And this just caught my eye inside the store. So teach your own. Anyway, like and subscribe like always, guys. And I will see you in the next video.